Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Josh here. We are working on uh, an exciting project of ours that I'm really looking forward to. Um, it's some for the interior of our farmhouse build. I'm going to be showing you how to take some simple one bys kind of like this and turn it into a faux wood box beam. We built these to put in our vaulted ceiling. Um, these are just, um, they came out beautiful. We uh, 45 some cedar boards um, and then we distressed this uh, wood beam and then we did a, a process of finishing with stain and clear coat. And I'm just going to kind of be showing you, it is a little bit of a lengthy process, um, but uh, it's, it's uh, up to whatever you want to make it, but I really wanted this to be our finished product and the way it came out and I had a vision for it, so I put the time in to do it. So um, I'm going to kind of just show you how we did this. If you like these videos, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications, hit that bell button. And uh, we love hearing feedback. And uh, whether you guys enjoy these videos or learning anything, leave us comments below. So we'll just dive right on into it, how we built these wood beams.
Okay guys, so we are in the finishing process of these uh, faux beams. Um, I would have filmed us uh, staining it, um, but last night it just got too dark. But anyways, we chose a stain we liked. This is called Early American. It's a pre-mixed color. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, it's an oil-based product. Um, I'm just very familiar with the oil base. I know it's kind of a pain, but I like it. And we also are not just gonna stain it, but we're, gonna, we're putting a clear coat on it. This is a satin polyurethane oil base, and it really makes the color pop really well. So we are gonna take the extra step to do that. And we did put one coat on that last night. It looks a little uneven, but we're gonna do another coat and that'll take care of that problem. But um, we're just, so what I'm gonna do is dry now. Um, when you put that clear on, it can leave a little bit of, uh, it can get a little rough, all the wood fibers that are sticking out. So what I'm going to do is take some two, a 220 by hand sandpaper, and I'm just going to come in here and do a light sand. What it does is it, if you do it between coats, it makes it really smooth, and it comes out a little more even when you do your polyurethane. So my next step is to sand these beams down, and then I will get ready to put another coat on. Okay, so now that we got uh, a little bit of sandy done, I want to make sure I get all the dust off. Uh, because if I don't in the clear, it's going to make it kind of rough. So I'm using a product called a tack cloth and it's got like a waxy substance on it. And you just kind of want to lightly wipe it off. If you push too hard, it leaves more of the, the waxy film on, on the wood and you don't want that. So just kind of wipe this down. And I'm going to, right before you put your clear on, this is the polyurethane I'm going to be using. It's an oil based. Uh, it's a fast drying, uh, clear satin Minwax product. And when you stir this stuff, a lot of times it's been sitting in the store for a while, so you want to stir it really well. But you don't want to shake it and you don't want to stir it too fast because it can get bubbles in it. And when you put it on, it'll bubble and you can't get it out. You'll have to resand it off. So um, it is a little more touchy than a water base, but I think it's more durable and I think it looks really good. And I'm just familiar with it. So I'm going to be using this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. Um, the thing to note is that it is pretty strong. It's an oil base, so I'm going to be using a respirator uh, as I'm working with it. And to use, oh, I'm going to be using like a foam roller. Um, it's loaded up from yesterday because I used it yesterday. And um, but what a foam roller does is it puts it on really smooth. It doesn't give it like a texture like a nap roller you would on a drywall with paint. So these work really nice. They're like a mini roller. I got a six inch here and a four inch here. And um, it just works really nice and uh, spread it on this large surface. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like.
Ooh, it's a little strong. Okay, so I, I kept on getting bubbles though when I did put my roller on and the first coat wasn't quite doing that. So um, I went ahead and applied it all and while it was still wet, I just came and took a brush and just kind of wiped it out, went a couple times and that seemed to take care of the problem. Let me see if I can show you down here. It looks really glossy, but it's going to dry to a nice satin finish. Um, cross our fingers, we'll see how it looks tomorrow. But um, right now it's looking pretty sharp. So we'll just take a peek tomorrow and see what it looks like. Okay guys, this is the next morning. These are our beams. Um, they just came out beautiful. Um, very happy with them. Love this uh, look. Um, this is how they look, the, fit, the product. Um, again, this is two coats of clear satin, um, one coat of stain on these cedar boards. Um, so if you do pine, it might be a little bit lighter, but um, you can always torch it more if you want it to look darker or do two coats of stain. But um, there's a, I know a lot of steps in building these, but I think it just came out great. The end result is beautiful. So um, I think it was worth every step that we put in. Um, we will be doing an install on the ceiling up in here. Um, we'll be doing that in another video. So if you want to follow along, hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. And then until next time, guys.